All right, Michigan got, get a huge win over Notre Dame, 45-14 to 14 at the big house. Hella rain if you in the metro Detroit area or just in like that uh, southeastern area uh, today. But uh, let's talk about the game. Uh, Shea Patterson, 6 for 12, 100 yards, 2 TDs. But the story was the running backs. Um, Zach Charbonnet had 15 carries, 74 yards, 4.9 average. Two touchdowns. True Wilson had six point six carries, excuse me, forty five yards rushing, one touchdown. And Hassan Haskins had some really big runs, twenty carries, one hundred forty nine yards, seven point five carry average, no touchdowns though. And um, yeah, kind of talk about the offense a minute. Uh, they tried to let you know Notre Dame have an opportunity for so long. Um, had drops, and it was raining, and you know you didn't expect Shea Patterson to be or Ian Book to be great in the rain, but, uh, you know, Shea Patterson made a few throws, had a few drives, had a great throw. Um, I think it was in the end zone, uh, it was Peoples Jones who got his hand under the ball, who just made an amazing, you know, throw and catch from Patterson to Peoples Jones and the offense eventually caught rhythm. And the reason the offense started putting up some points was that Michigan front dominated on defense, but, uh, Notre Dame's inability to mount the offense wore their defense out. And a lot of fans just look at, oh, the defense sucked bad or or, or the defense could have did better. And uh, not just this game, in a lot of different scenarios. But what you got to look at, if your offense is not, you know, putting drives together and picking up first downs and they going three and out, three and out, or they, you know, they just, you know, turn the ball over, the defense get wore out. The defense ain't designed to be on the field for a thousand snaps. All right, and Notre Dame defense started to get wore out because the offense didn't mount the Michigan offense mounted some. They went up three, then they went up ten, then they went up seventeen. That gives the team a, mor- a moral boost, and eventually, you know, Notre Dame got wore out, and Charbonnet and Haskins just went to went to went to went to town. But uh, for Notre Dame, the stats were less than impressive. Ian Book. Was eight for twenty five, seventy three yards, one touchdown, and um, you know, <laughs> they leading rusher only had fifteen yards, followed by another guy, Tony. Well, that was Jameer Smith, followed by another guy, Tony Jones Jr. with fourteen yards. Ian Book had thirteen yards, and really they had a couple touchdowns go to Cole K. Matt and Javon McKinley. But when you can't run the ball in inclement weather, <laughs> this the result you gonna get <laughs> a blowout. And Notre Dame just looked like they wasn't designed to play in this type of weather offensively. You know what I'm saying? And this is why it's important for you to be able to run the ball. Once you start going out there in the rain, sleet, the snow, all that other stuff, you start, you know, going out in outdoors. This is why they don't have those national championship games in uh in, in, in places like, you know, New York or up in the in the Midwest without a dome. This is why they don't have those games. Uh, like that, man, is because, no, they want to keep the field even. You got to be able to run the ball north to south. And Harbaugh's identity showed up today, and Josh got his play calling. They banged the rock. Hassan has some great runs. Charbonnet is an animal. You don't even really look at his body and be like, oh, he a true freshman. But he one of them super freshmen that's coming out. But, you know, this is a huge win for Harbaugh. It would have been even huger had they beat Penn State. They'd probably be going into the top 10 with a chance to make the playoffs. You know, but Ohio State, they had a huge game today. Um, they blew out Wisconsin like 38 to what nothing or whatever it is. And pre- pretty much the P- Big Ten is Ohio State and everybody else. Michigan State got th- uh, th- thrashed by Penn State today. And Mike D'Antoni, whatever his name is, Mark D'Antoni, he probably going to be on his way out. But... You know, Michigan ain't really playing for much. Uh, they season, season can be salvaged if they can upset Ohio State, and that's really what their eyes should be on, Mi- Michigan State and upsetting Ohio State. But, you know, the pro, you know, the program is that that went wrong this year. And I'm going to talk about the defense in a minute. They don't have a, a premier quarterback, and that's a big problem. And they don't have a quarterback-friendly system yet. I think it's getting there with Josh Gaddis. And they don't have a running back. They don't have that, uh, what was it, Chris Evans, whoever the running back was that got suspended academically. Um, they don't have that guy. You know, had they had that veteran running back in the rotation, Michigan had to be deadly. But I still do think 
Josh Gaddis need to get to some pro style principles, but defensively, it just seemed like, you know, Don Brown got people, some people number tonight. I think the rain helped them out a lot. And, um, and you, when you play up here, you practice and you get used to it. And Notre Dame should be used to it as well too. You know, with Ian book being a veteran quarterback now, but they wasn't. And it just seemed like if you struggle versus man coverage and you struggle with protections and pick up blitzes, well, Don Brown going to have your number. Now, if you understand how, how he going to blitz and you understand you could pick up his blitzes and you can you got some speed on the outside, you can beat him. Because he ain't changing nothing up. He'll bracket, he'll play a little couple, you know, little zones here and there. But that's how Ohio State beat him, you know. And Don Brown is not. He's an old man. He's stuck in his ways. He's not going to play Tampa 2. He's not going to play cover 3. He's not going to play zone on one side, man on the other. He want to man up and maybe play zone in the back or man up and send fire. You know, and if you could pick up his blitzes or your receivers can get off the line cleanly and what happened with Notre Dame today, they got, it seemed like they got a lot of big receivers that couldn't get off the line. The small guys are the ones you worried about. The big receivers, if you got enough strength, you can. that's a lot of body to hit off the line. But those small guys, like what Ohio State had last year, getting free, getting free releases, they fast. It's hard to get your hands on you, and if you miss – they gone. So you can't play every team the same. And Don Brown, his defense doesn't change. Like, okay, uh, we got Middle Tennessee State coming today. They struggle with zone. Are we going to call some zone blitzes? We're going to play predominantly zone right now. And then, you know, we'll go from there. No, it's, it, 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 it don't – his system isn't, you know, tailor-made to week by week. It's, it's, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're good at doing. Manning up, us versus them, sending blitzes. And, and if they beat us, we just going to lose. He just don't have no versatility. And that's the thing about them old coaches, man. Sometimes they don't they don't change with the times. And, you know, and at the end of the day, if you struggle with protection, you know what I'm saying, and they're able to sack your quarterback, you're able to let them stop the run, it's plays to be made on Michigan secondary. You know, it's, makes, it's, it's when you play man and you can pick up the blitzes or you can play man and buy your quarterback some time, it's made for you to one on one to go over the top of your guy to get plays. Michigan don't have a Talib or Revis in their prime out there, like or Charles Woodson in their prime. It's made for that. You know, Don Brown. That's the main thing they need to do is get rid of his ass. Okay, he had a great call game tonight. Notre Dame couldn't pick up his beat. Um, they receivers was huge. They made a couple catches, but they couldn't get off the line. And Michigan D D line and linebackers got home, but. You ain't gonna win a national championship with Don Brown as your as your defensive coordinator. You need a guy that that can play some zone, that can play some man, that can do everything. But the defense played outstanding tonight. Um, they got the revenge. Metellus, I think, got got a targeting rule. Got kicked out the game last year. Um, we got they got us in South Bend. We got them here. But um, offense defensively, when Michigan has been successful, it's been a defense that's. That's really picked the team up. The offense, you know, ain't really won us a game all year, okay? And tonight you can say, well, they scored 45 points. Yeah, but real talk, it was the defense that bought them the time. It was the defense that went out there and put the beats on by Dre on Notre Dame today. And then the offense just finally, you know, they caught fire because Notre Dame defense was on the field for too many snaps and got tired. It wasn't an offensive effort tonight. It was a defensive effort tonight that really won the game. And Harbaugh got to find a quarterback, and they got to find an offense that's innovative. You see, I know Jalen Hurts and them lost today in Kansas State. But when you got a system and a quarterback that can change the life for your team, that makes everybody else better. But they got a lot to address going into the offseason, man. And defensive coordinator and finding a, a quarterback and a real another good running back is, is the three things that should be on the priority list. But – it was a great game uh, for Michigan, much needed for Jim Harbaugh. I still don't think most fans think his bacon is safe, but I don't expect him to be fired anyway. Uh, I heard he, you know, it was, it was some thoughts about him going to the NFL. I don't expect him to be fired. Um, I don't think they could find an upgrade over him right now. But my personal opinion, Motor City Sports Talk, congratulations for Michigan for the huge win. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship a video quest. Michigan wins once again, 45-14. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Motor City, I mean, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment. One time for the one time, Mercy Sports Talk. We gone.